Today we are having a review of a new soldering station from Archie, model IR6500, which is an advanced version of an IR6000 station. Let's unpack the station. Here we have a preheater on the bottom. Here it is. The package also includes a power cable, temperature probe, USB cable, additional holders, as well as screws and a hex key for station assembly. A disassembled PCB table consisting of a lot of parts. Here it is. We will assemble it later. The upper heater is to be installed on this tube. A reflective tape. And a CD with software. Visual inspection reveals several significant improvements compared to the previous model. Let's have a look at each of them. First we would like to note is a protection glass over the lower heater. The glass ensures protection of the heater from mechanical damage, as well as improves the heating's body uniformity. One more feature from the manufacturer is a standard K-type thermocouple. The data is synchronized with a PC using the USB interface. Drivers for 64-bit and 32-bit operation systems are included. The back panel is equipped with auto switches, which increase general reliability of the system. PCB holding table has remained the same. It is used for holding rectangular or other shaped PCBs, for example laptop motherboards. There are additional holders for that. You may actually fix the PCB of any size and any shape. Now let's have a closer look on soldering station controls. As I have already mentioned, there are auto switches on the back panel that power on the station. The front panel features two temperature controllers. The left one deals with the lower heater. This programmable one controls the upper heater. There is also a button for turning on the lamp and a button for turning on the cooling fan situated on the upper heater, as well as two buttons to start and stop the soldering process. This soldering station uses the same type of temperature controllers as other Archie models. Heating element parameters are also similar to the previous IR6000 model. The lower heater size is 180 by 180 mm. Its power is 800 W. The upper heater size is 80 by 80 mm and the power is 400 W. The main conclusion we would like to make is that though the soldering station is slightly more expensive than the previous one, by nearly 10%. All the weak points of the previous model have been eliminated. Thus, the operation characteristics of the device were significantly enhanced.